The Military Friendly Schools List sets the standard for higher education institutions to provide the best quality opportunity for veterans and their families. Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Lohr says he wasn't surprised by a state honor. 20 years in the Army, I have not been in a town that's more supportive of the military. And it just makes sense the university as part of that community is also extremely supportive of the military. Veterans in particular and uh, the, the, just the programs that they have are intended to help their our returning veterans, which Arkansas has quite a few. Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Lohr has been at A State for about two years. For the first time since the start of levels of rankings, Arkansas State received a silver rating. For the previous two years, A State was a bronze level. And our program has has had so much support from a new roof to a new facade on this building and, and even our alumni and community have helped support the the cost of rooms like this that we're standing in now that uh, most schools don't get to have for their pro their ROTC program. The military science building is about 59,000 square feet. Lore says it's the largest building in Arkansas for an ROTC program. When it comes to recruiting for the program, they like to build a relationship to show them how they can be supported as a student and cadet at the university. And ROTC, just like the rest of the university, is an outlet to help provide that step up for people in this community and beyond. Lore says they are planning to upgrade the military science building in the future for a better use for students, faculty, and staff at the university. Sydney Thompson, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro.